Organists Online, the How To Series. In this video, how to use the simplified hymns. Hymn playing needs to be confident and fluent, but in most hymn books, hymn accompaniments are written out in a way which some organists find rather difficult. They're designed, the accompaniments, to be sung by a four-part choir, so there are large stretches between the parts and two hands sometimes can find it quite difficult to play them. Organists Online provides 500 simplified hymn tune accompaniments covering the whole of the church's year drawn from Catholic, Free Church and Anglican sources. This is the hymn tune Wolvercoat as it appears in many hymn books. You can see that here there's large stretches for the hands and here and you've in fact got five notes to play at any one time there and five notes in this place here and here is the same tune as it appears in its simplified form on organists online you'll notice that there's never more than three notes being played at a time there are no stretches beyond an octave and here you've only got two notes playing and this is another version as it appears on the site in G major simpler to play because it's got fewer accidentals to think about in the key signature but from a congregation's point of view as it only goes up to a C they're not going to strain themselves so much verse after verse you may think that with so few notes being played at any one time, the sound will be somewhat thin and the harmony seem incomplete. Maybe this sound clip will convince you otherwise. these hymns visit the organists online homepage then scroll down to the simplified hymns panel and click alternatively you can go there directly via organistsonline.org slash hymns Once you get to the page, you've got to scroll down past the display advertisements. Then you get to the actual content. There's some bits and pieces to read here. And then further down, the hymn arrangements themselves. The hymns are arranged in alphabetical order by first line. So here you will see you have got the first line. Then after that, the name of the tune then the meter, that is, how many syllables in each line, and then a link to click through to the actual arrangement itself. Some of the hymns are available in two different keys. For instance, here, or Glory, Lord and Honour, is available in C and B flat. The C major version might be considered a challenge for some congregations, because it goes up to the top E. Whereas the B flat version only goes up to top D, a tone lower. To find any one particular hymn, you probably don't want to scroll through all 500. So you can use this alphabetical index, which you can see here. So for instance, if I want to find hymns beginning with H, just click there, Hail Glorious Patrick. Or if I'm looking for hymns beginning with P, there we are. Alternatively, you can perform a browser search. 
Most browsers with a couple of keystrokes will let you search through the page content. So with a couple of keystrokes I'm going to open up a search field. It's up here on my top right. I'm going to magnify that because on some phones if you're looking at this video this might be hard to see. And here I am with the search field magnified up on the right. I'm going to look for Alleluia Sing to Jesus. Straight away just part of the word in a number of selections are coming up and you can see number eight down on the left is the one we're looking for but for the sake of demonstration I'll continue and now if I put in an exclamation mark you'll see Alleluia sing to Jesus is excluded but if I put in a comma Alleluia sing to Jesus is the one which is chosen so you'll see that punctuation marks are important. If I search for Alleluia Sing to Jesus with no comma, perhaps with the correct spelling, without the comma you can hear the chimes from the browser telling me that no such hymn is found on the list. So punctuation marks are important. When looking through these hymns, you will notice various other fields with headings such as instrumental parts, super sling carol arrangements and so on and so forth. These are to do with the carol's uplift instrumental parts which are compatible with these simplified hymns. For the sake of this video you don't have to worry about them and they will be the subjects of another video. You may be wondering what it costs to download and use these hymn tune arrangements and the answer is absolutely nothing. As with most of the facilities available on Organist Online, there is no charge at all. If you want further information about these simplified hymn accompaniments or about Organist Online in general, here are my contact details.